Right, uh, quiz from last night, uh, jackpot round. Somebody did win £150. You might have as well if you'd answered all the questions right. So uh, here's the eight questions. I'm going to show you the answer straight away after each question. So if you want more time, just pause the video. Here we go. Question number one. In US presidential elections, which way has Alaska voted every single time since 1968? Is it Democrat or Republican? Need more time, pause the video. Here comes the answer. It is uh, Republican. They like shooting things up there, so that's probably something to do with it. Who was the tallest member of Queen? Freddie Mercury, the singer, or Brian May, the guitar player? Correct answer is Brian May. Six foot one, Freddie's only five foot nine. Number two, that was. Number three, Iceland became fully independent in 1944, but from which country did they get their independence? Who used to be in charge. Was it Denmark, Norway, or Sweden? The correct answer is Denmark. If you got the first three right, you're still in the game. Need to get five more for £150. Uh, what did Vincent van Gogh use to commit suicide? Good painter, but killed himself. So gun, rope, or poison? The correct answer is gun, shot himself. Uh, died 30 hours later, so uh, that's a bit slow. Not as quick as Hitler. But a better painter. Uh, number five, uh, Joan Logie Baird invented the TV. Scottish guy, you know that. But when did his company first broadcast a transatlantic television signal? First time TV was broadcast from Britain to America. Was it the 1920s, 1930s, or 1940s? Correct answer is perhaps surprisingly 1920s, 1928 to be precise which is pretty quick, you know. But technology for broadcast was already there. It's just uh, he came along with the TV and jumped on it. So number six, what was the setting for a BBC television programme called Waterloo Road? First on TV 2006, police station, hospital or school? Correct answer is a school, I think. Most people got that one right last night. I think it's quite well known. Uh, number seven, uh, which city in the USA had America's first subway system built in 1897? So like an underground railway, Boston, Chicago or San Francisco? Correct answer is Boston. If you've got them all right so far, you just need this last one right to win £150. So what did Richard Whiteley have in common with the, th uh, <laughs> the famous René Descartes? I tried to edit that, it doesn't look good. But we're talking about Richard Whiteley who used to host Countdown and René Descartes, the French philosopher who came up with, I think, Therefore I Am. Quite different guys, but what did they have in common? Were they both born in France? Did they both work as chicken farmers? Or did they both die of pneumonia? Okay, correct answer is, uh, they died of pneumonia. Which got a big cheer last night, which is kind of rude. You know, it's not a nice way to die. But they were celebrating the fact they got them all right at £150. Uh, that's all the answers there. Did you win £150? Let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll see you later. Dr Paul checking out.